Hello all, Future Duart here. I want to preface this video with a warning. It was recorded some time ago in my living room using my cell phone, so the audio and video quality isn't going to be the best. Also, the style is pretty much full on disrespectful nose. In any case, I hope that you enjoy it, that you find it educational, and that you can learn something from it. So, without further delay, here it goes. Today, I wanted to make a short video. Um, just showing you a little bit of an experiment that I did. Um, I've been running uh, on my daily driver, my setup. I've been running a Razer Core X Chroma for a while now. And I have a very specific requirement that I need to have access on my laptop to multiple VLANs and the problem with that is that the Razer Core X Chroma uh, Ethernet adapter that comes with it doesn't support multiple VLANs so basically what you have let me see if I don't touch um, the contacts that much um, I'm, I'm, and I'm sorry in advance, this is uh, the first time I'm doing a video like this, so bear with me, it's going to be a little bit <laughs> rough around the edges. So basically, you have the Ethernet controller over here, and then you have those black ships here, here, and here, so these three black ships which are basically USB um, hubs or switches. So basically you have on the bottom, from what I could see, you have the main USB uh, uh, switch that then goes one into the Ethernet adapter and then the other two for the USB ports. Uh, but as I said, since this didn't fulfill my uh, use case completely uh, I had to I decided to experiment a little bit so what I did was I got this PCI riser it's a chip you can find it everywhere um, almost every computer parts store slash electronic parts store sells them and basically if you have a look here this is the PCI Express 16 slot, which is the one where you put your graphics card or whatever other uh, PCI Express uh, card you want to uh, run on it. And then you have the PCI one time slot, one X slot here. If you noticed, uh, the one X uh, slot is a little bit further forward than the PCI Express 16 slot. I reckon, and I might be totally wrong, but I reckon that this is to uh, dissuade people from running their own cards instead of the one that Razer provides with the Core X Chroma. Whether it is or not is up for debate, but it's a little bit weird that they are not lined up. In any case, I basically just uh, put in the adapter. Uh, for those that aren't aware, this isn't actually the USB protocol. It's just an easier way and uh, a cheaper way of leveraging existing connectors. Uh, so if you plug in a USB, an actual USB stick or a USB device here, you'll have <laughs> pretty bad headaches uh, because the electric at the electrical level is not the same thing. This is PCI Express being passed on this cable and not USB. But anyways, that's a side side note. Um, so basically, I needed I. I got the, the PCI Express um, extender. 
I tested it for a while and it worked. So what I needed to do next was just to find a way to put it in the case where I could have both the Ethernet card and the graphics card. So this is the Ethernet card, it's just a, simp uh, a cheaper uh, Intel based uh, clone, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's not a, a real or an official Intel card, I think. And I did play with other cards, uh, but mostly of them were server cards and they didn't work um, because I think they were uh, locked to the manufacturer, whether it was HP, Dell, uh, and they were, they simply, um, they would appear powered, but they wouldn't work. They wouldn't even be recognized as a PCI device, PCI Express device. So back to the bracket. So the bracket is quite simple. It's just pieces of um, angled aluminium and some straight pieces. I cut them to measure. Um, of course, it needs a little bit of work. Uh, I need to grind this a little bit. I need to grind this one as well. Um, it's still not properly finished. Uh, I basically leveraged the holes for the side fan um, to as mounting points for the bracket. Um, I couldn't find... Um, let me take out the cable here so that I can show you better. Okay, I couldn't find um, screws long enough uh, and thin enough for this, so I just bought uh, the um, the rod, a rod that had the the. Um, Oh, I forgot how you say it in English. Uh, anyways. Tread, sorry. I bought the rod that is threaded and I cut it to measure. So you need to be aware that this needs to be pretty flush and cannot be very uh, protubing because it will scratch or it will go against the outside wall of the Razer Core X Chroma. So it really needs to be flush. Uh, so you cannot be, you cannot go very, very crazy. The same for these screws here that I used. They were just right uh, in terms of uh, the distance between the end of the screw and the outside wall of the case. Um, I did use uh, normal standoffs, uh, computer, motherboard standoffs, you can find them in everywhere as well. Um, one of the things that also needs to be done apart from uh, grinding and, and finishing up, giving, it, giving the final touches, is to add some uh, supports here so that the network card doesn't sag. Um, uh, I, I've been running it like this, but it's still something that needs to be done uh, because it's not very advisable to have uh, the card sagging. Um, uh, things might uh, go badly. One of the concerns I had, I had uh, with uh, this... Um, modification was, uh, as many know, the Razer Core X Chroma uh, USBs don't work properly and many people point out that it might be due to power 
uh, it seems as if the card the that comes with the, the Corex Chroma doesn't receive enough power um, I I sort of have a different theory um, which is also tied into power uh, and I think is mostly because of them running the two different uh, no three different USB hubs uh, in on board um, I might be wrong uh, but I thought because the Ethernet I, never has problems and it's also a USB adapter USB to PCI Express or, or Ethernet to USB adapter and that's why they have here um, this USB hub ship here uh, because it goes from this one to this one which is the Ethernet adapter um, and this one doesn't have problems it never drops out it doesn't have speed problems it's always the one uh, the one gigabit speed um, so there is something after this one here uh, that is causing the problems whether it's power delivery maybe uh, maybe they are missing something here um, but yeah um, that's my uh, guess um, what uh, but I didn't have the problems any problems with uh, running the Ethernet card mostly because I think since this is an externally um, powered uh, PCI Express riser uh, it it won't stress the the PCI Express uh, slot the power supply is more than enough for running the graphics card uh, at least with the model that I have which is a 2060 Super uh, so uh, it just worked and one thing to um, to take note as well and to be aware is that you might need to reset the BIOS from your laptop or computer uh, because I had some problems uh, with it being initially recognized and then I switching back to the Razer uh, card and it stopped being recognized so it only started working again once I um, reset the BIOS of the laptop so other than that I'm pretty happy uh, one thing another thing that I just remembered that's the the magic of unscripted videos is that the Chroma X uh, effects or the Chroma effects that I said like that won't work because the controller is in this it's not on this on the main board for the Corex Chroma it's on the daughter board um, for me it's not a problem because I really don't care about the the um, the LEDs and the lights uh, even though I do run other uh, Razer hardware like the keyboard the mouse and the headphones and all of them do have uh, uh, the chroma um, technology or, or product um, so be aware of that as well uh, the lights will still work but they will be working uh, with the um, um, with the usual uh, cycle so they cycle in between lights they don't have a fixed light they just cycle over and over so you cannot control them you cannot say it's this effect or that effect um, so bear that in mind uh, other than that if you have uh, a different uh, use case 
um, probably someone would ask, uh, can I run another extra graphics card with this? Maybe it would work uh, if you have uh, eight pin splitter, um, you would probably be able to run uh, two graphics cards. Uh, I wouldn't advise because basically the, um, the performance that you're gonna get is really low. Uh, this is only a PCI 1 slot, PCI 1X slot. So you already have a little bit of a bottleneck with the Thunderbolt even though it's 40 gigabits. Uh, if you are running one graphics card, one graphic card that takes pretty much almost the entire bandwidth, and you want to run a second graphics card, and then unless the second graphics card is just for running other stuff on it, like I don't know, uh, AI or uh, other uh, other things that you want to run and play around with. Maybe, but if it is to have like uh, uh, two graphic cards set up, uh, even if it's one for doing the streaming and the other one for playing the games or uh, whatever, whatever other use case you might have, I'm not 100% sure uh, it will work uh, because it's, it's severely bottlenecked. So if you need uh, any actual proper performance, um, I wouldn't uh, advise you to go that way. Um, other than that, that's it. Um, I'm, I'm happy. It works well. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to keep on running this setup uh, because I did find recently uh, a USB to Ethernet adapter that... Uh, does support uh, VLANs. Um, it's based on the RTL 8135, if I'm not mistaken, the chip. Uh, this chip here is a uh, ASIS, or uh, I don't know how exactly to pronounce it, but this chip is um, is cheaper. Well, I'm not sure if it's cheaper, but at least the driver, uh, because on Windows, VLAN support doesn't come out of the box as it, it does in Linux. Um, so the drivers need to implement the, the multiple VLAN support and the driver for this ship doesn't. While the driver for the Realtek one, the RTL8135, does. Um, so I might simplify this setup uh, back to USB, I have a, a USB hub uh, with uh, seven ports. Um, I might do a video on my entire setup a little bit further down the road, I guess. Not 100% sure, but I might. Um, showing you what um, I did, the modifications that I did to the desk and how I run the USBs. And all the uh, all basic, not the USBs, but all the other uh, peripherals that I have on my setup. Um, but this is already going a little bit longer than I wanted. Um, so I'll just cut short uh, for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this in inspires you to uh, experiment a little bit as well, whether with this or something else. But... Uh, uh, there's no learning experience um, that is gained through. Uh, there's a lot. What I mean is, there's a lot more learning experience that can gain by experimenting yourself, and learning through your mistakes. So, go at it and enjoy. Well, it was way too long and painful than it needed to be. In my defense, it was pretty clear I was flying by the seat of my pants, and this is a wee bit of a learning experience for me in itself. Also, did you count how many huh I used? Clearly one of my speech crutches. Anyways, I hope you liked it and I will speak to you again in a future video. Cheers.